Back in 2019, the UDP administration issued legislation to exclude foreign nationals who have obtained residency in Belize from being eligible for commercial fishing licenses. Two years later, under a new PUP government, the Ministry of Blue Economy reverses this through SI 57 of 2021, which allows for the participation of permanent residents in the fishing industry of Belize. This has sparked outrage. So if you bring in more people from across the border, how we are survive? Well, when I started to fish, there was a lot less fishermen, so we used to do good. But as the years went by, you get more and more fishers, and now I had to catch like less, about a quarter of what I used to catch. So I know everybody had to catch less. You understand me? And if you bring in more people, then we are even catch less. But the Ministry of Blue Economy says that these persons are being scapegoated for the overfishing of fish stocks in Belize. According to a ministry release, permanent residents are not responsible. In fact, in the past, the number of licensed permanent residents did not exceed 40, while the fisher population in Belize is over 3,400. The ministry's firm position is that permanent residents who have met the legal requirements should be afforded the opportunity to participate in the industry. My brother, we fishermen out there, they kill one another for a little piece of lobster ground. And if, if the, the minister is the minister where they go on right now, no know that we have serious problem if um, Guatemala or Honduras or Mexico we have them confession of we water brother because right now we Belizean we barely could get along with the Libita Grongo we have here. I sacrificed a lot. I I just left net. I just we just accept the banning of net. Okay, we love we reef so much that we don't want these people from outside. We don't have no kind of respect for a reef or respect for a patch or respect for a, for a, for a um, river mouth. And then thing come and set net. So I'll take the sacrifice and left net. You have to go on residency, prove a residency to get your license. Then thing don't work. I know people who got license right now when we live across the border. I know. I go show you a live. I know a live across the border. And they have license. Every time you have an election, you see so much busload that people come across and come vote. No, they are getting. I mean, don't glad because now they couldn't get one fishing license. Now they could get a fishing license. How do you think I feel? Forty eight years I'm fishing. Right now we don't know who these permanent residents people are and where, which area they will be given access to, and that's what these guys are concerned about. We had lobby with the then administration to ensure that we protect the benefit of our Belizean fishers. Now, how can you tell me? that a permanent resident can come to our jewel, state that they live here for six months and get access to our fishery. When we have our fishermen right here, right now, some of their kids can't even access the fishery and are unable to get a fisher folks license. It's difficult. So we can't accept that. But the Belize Federation of Fishers, who have since come out to condemn the enacting of the SI, says that the reversal of the ban on permanent residents to obtain commercial fishing licenses occurred without consultation. So what's the next step? There are system and structure that we believe should be in place in order to ensure that our fishers are treated fairly. And we believe that if we give given that opportunity to meet at the table to discuss these issues, we believe that we can address these guys' problem. But as it is right now, we felt that, we believe, sorry, that what the minister uh, and, and the Ministry of Blue Economy did without any, any type of consultation is unjust to these guys. And we're asking the minister to ensure that he rescind what he has done because 57, SI 57 of 2021 is unfair, it's unjust. Dwayne Moody for News 5.